Welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling, exercise number 15. We make this 3D model with the help of this diagram in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select the part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the front plane for the sketch and draw this profile, like L-shape. Extrude this up to 42 millimeters, according to calculate dimensions. Next, we chamfer these two corners. Also, fill at these two corners with a specified radius. And our final step, we have to make this rib. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Select the corner rectangle tool from the sketch tab. Select origin point for the first point of the line. Move the cursor in this direction, like this. Put the value 12 mm width of the rectangle and press enter. Then put the value 66 mm length of the rectangle and press enter. Next, continued with the corner rectangle tool. Select this corner point for the first point of the rectangle. Move the cursor in this direction, like this. Put the value 60 mm width of the rectangle and press enter. Then put the value 12 mm length of the rectangle and press enter. Here we need to trim unwanted edges. Select the Trim Entities tool from the Sketch tab. Make sure we select Power Trim mode. Just click and drag the mouse. And trim this unwanted portion of the sketch, like this. Escape the command. Our sketch is completed. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Notice here, multiple sketches are detected. So, we manually select this profile for extruding. Drop down the extruding option and select a mid-plane option. If we calculate the dimensions, we will get 42 mm total width of the model. Put the extruding value 42 mm. See this preview. And click on Mark OK. For the next step, we select the Fillet tool from the Feature tab. We have to fill at these two edges at radius 21 mm. Put the radius value 21 mm here. Select this first edge. And see the preview in yellow wireframe. Select this remaining edge. And click on the mark OK. For the next step, we select the chamfer tool from here. Here is mentioned chamfer dimensions, 12 mm to both sides. Put the value 12 mm here, and make sure 45 degrees are set for the angle value. So we get 12 mm chamfer distance for both sides. Select this first edge, and this second edge. See this preview, and click on the mark OK. Our filleting and chamfering process is done. Next, we have to make this rib at the center of the 3D model. We need one plane for the sketch which is placed at the center of the model. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Press the control key with 8 to keep the sketch plane normal. Select the line tool from the sketch tab. Select this corner point for the first point of the line. For the second point, approximately we select here on this edge. But make sure we do not select fixed points of this edge such as midpoint and endpoints. I select a point here. Escape the command. We have to set one dimension here. This is 42 millimeters. Select the Smart Dimension tool from the Sketch tab. Select this horizontal edge and this endpoint of the line. Place the dimension. Put the value 42 millimeters and press Enter. Our sketch is done. Slightly rotate this object to get the idea of applying the 3D feature. Set the view like this. Go to the Feature tab and select the Rib tool. See the preview. 
We can switch the rib direction by click on this arrow. We have to make rib in this direction, so we select arrow, like this. This is both direction rib. We can manage to make rib as per our requirement. If we select this left side icon, so rib is built to the left side of the profile. If we select this middle icon, so rib is built to both sides of the profile. If we select this right side icon, so rib is built to the right side of the profile. As per our diagram, we have to select the middle icon to make rib at both sides to the profile. Put the rib width value 12 millimeters here. See the preview. And click on the mark OK. See our rib built perfectly. Our 3D model is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the Appearance. And, select Metal. Select Steel Material. And, I choose Brush Steel Material. Just drag it on the object and select the Body option. Here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.